Alrighty, let's see if this works. I hope it does. Um, yeah, I've just got a little bit more movement to do. Not a lot. I uh, basically have to move um, some of the first army over to here. I'm just trying to figure out um, do I want to shift these troops? Um, uh, these guys. Hmm. Do I want to keep these guys here and move them over to here? Uh, it's just a slight shift over. I also have to um, take four, uh, two of these supply points. I'm just going to shift them over uh, to here. Um, yeah, it's uh, the third army guy wasn't happy. I can tell you that much. Um, well, let's take a look. What is his name? Let's see. It's been such a while. Uh, Bruderman. So Bruderman was not happy. He had 10 uh, supply points. Um, Bureyevich said, I'm sorry, but by the way, you're going to have to send uh, two supply points over over to here. The second army guy, uh, Bomb Ermoli, and he's going to have to figure out how to send some over to here. The sixth core guy, and he's uh, Von Opavar. So what I did so far, and you can see these little yellow things, I think you, hopefully you can see them, is that um, I was just marking off for the single track because they're Austro-Hungarian troops, they're not German troops. So uh, once a division's worth, so such as an army HQ with 10 supply points or just an army HQ without 10 supply points, that's the kicker. Remember these type of things. You can uh, sneak in an extra 10 supply point. Like, you know what I mean? That's like a piggyback. Um, but I will say this. You see this little spot here? This one extra little single rail track right there? I hope you can. Uh, so that thing would have killed, let's say, I've got to be careful sometimes the way I bring in uh, uh, troops across on single track. Because let's say I did bring, let um, this kills... Let's say I wanted to bring somebody up through here. I can't anymore because of that one little spot. If it had connected straight up to this spot, as far as I'm concerned, as in these dots did not do this little bit here, this little, see, because they connect to that one, not to this one, then um, I, I could say, okay, yeah, you could zip on through. Because, for example, right now, I could still, uh, let's say, um, I could bring somebody this away. See? You see what I'm saying? Because I, I haven't affected, I'm still, like, it's just a junction point. I had to be careful. This one screwed me over, well, almost screwed me over. I didn't, uh, but I was like, damn it. I should I should have uh, sent troops this way. I, I wanted to send some, uh, something somewhere, either supply or so something. Doesn't matter anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys want to get into the specifics of all the little brigades and Lord knows what's uh, whatever. All I can say is this. I've moved some, um, like I said, I was going to try to do. So we've got the 6th Corps here. Uh, I'm moving, just slowly moving people over and also remembering that um, it doesn't have supply points anyways, but still have to get ready for that. There's the other thing to remember is I can't move uh, move a, an army uh, or a core, I can't move a headquarters and uh, send or receive uh, supply points. So I had to plan ahead of like, okay, do I take supply points now because lots of them don't have any and move later or do I move now and use that single track? Like there was a lot of little things. Oh, F. And this is simple dimple stuff compared to other games. And I, uh, this makes me salivate. So I can just imagine what the uh, other people have to deal with. Holy smokes. Must be incredible. Anyway, so we're slowly putting the squeeze on here. Uh, I think um, the Austro will get, will get Stanislaw, I think, by the end of November. I think we'll, uh, I don't think uh, Brusilov and the Russian 8th Army are going to be able to handle, they just don't, well, I know. That's where it is. It's way back there. So we'll see where their replacement units. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I'm not going after the wild goose chase over here. Uh, I started bringing some troops over here. Moved a lot of the um, the fifth core. Trying to keep a. And I'm not a big fan. I've said this before, and that was another thing I have to clue into. I can't transfer. 
I can transfer supply points via a supply train or whatever across land but it's got to be done in that turn kind of thing and it's got to be like almost direct like direct oh, I didn't want to screw around so I moved uh, I gave them uh, two supply points now haven't moved them but I would like to move them into a position because right now I can't uh, do anything with I can't do anything with these they're in a line of communication but not in a line of supply oh god this <laughs> anyway so there we go then we've got the third army direct over here uh, who did I say he was uh, Bruderman um, I spread some of the love around here we had uh, 10 uh, strength points here that's overkill for a trench against a uh, the opposition that has absolutely no supply points and is getting hammered uh, all over the place. So uh, I brought them over here. I don't know if this was such a great idea. Maybe I should have kept them there to keep hammering away because we've been we were doing that. But God, there's so many. Uh, they had so many strength points there. Yet again, and you're going to see what's going to happen over here. Uh, is uh, and some I, I'm not sure if it. Was, I think it was Charles Latour actually. He said, "It's okay, Chris." Um, you didn't nail, didn't force a retreat. You didn't nail them right off the bat, but you're whittling them down. And that, in the back of my mind, you're gonna see what'll happen. You'll see what'll happen. I haven't done it yet, but it's a guarantee, 100%. I'm not even gonna have to roll for the Austro-Hungarians. I know what the result is. And as a general, can you imagine what that must feel like to know? Like, there's none of this 50-50 crap, and, and, and there's no die rolling. It's a given. The only thing I have to worry about are the casualty reports. Honestly, it's the opposition's die roll. Uh, I know exactly what's going to happen. There's no other... I have a 100% chance of doing one hit. I can't do anything else. Um, because I'm going to be attacking with uh, 10 uh, attacking strength points. Into, like That's it. Supplied, you get the whole nine, nine yards through woods. Uh, I can only do a one. I can't do anything else because of the minus two due to the woods. Uh, if you look it down from four down, it's uh, even like at a minus two, I still do one hit. It's wonderful. It's over there. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, oh, actually, I got to look over here because I'm staring at the board the other way for so long. Um, yeah, so we did that. Uh, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. I know it seems scary, but I'm trying to tell the Russians, adios, like, go away. So we're going to get the Boog River Bridge, just not the way. It's not going to be this amazing Hollywood ending uh, that way. It's not going to happen. Um, so the, uh, these guys were actually over there, and, and those guys were, so those guys were here. And those, so I moved 30, BG32 from here to there, BG27 from there to there, uh, BG90 from there to there. For You get the idea. The reason being is I wanted to uh, have a continuous uh, line of uh, command. Uh, wow, there's another thing, eh? There's line of communication, line of supply, and I'm, for me, a line of command. Wicked. I love it. Um, because I wanted them to have a line of command with the uh, the Seventh Corps. Now I do. It was not the way I liked them. I don't want to have two point uh, strength points over there and so on and so forth. That you know, it's the way it goes. That's life. Um, I'm happy though. So we've done that, and here's the monster for me. Um, and this is an executive decision. Um, that the 4th Army commander did, uh, and I'm going to show you who, what he looks like, Moritz von Offenberg. All I know about him is he does okay at this point in the war historically, uh, then later on doesn't do so well, uh, gets fired from his position, and never sees a uh, command again as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as I know. Uh, when does he die? 1928. He, he was born in 1852, so like, come on, man. Not too bad. So he's the 4th uh, Army uh, commander. I don't know too much about him. So he's made a an executive decision because the 7th Corps man is part of him. It, it's You know what I mean? It's part of his army. 
He's, he's the giant mother hen for these guys. Uh, so what I decided to do was uh, he did an executive decision. He's broken two rules. Uh, he went against uh, Svetozar Brejevich with uh, and also broke the Katowice Conference Agreement. If the Germans find out, they're going to find out. Uh, that's going to cause a massive wrinkle later on due to the fact that uh, what's the, uh, the Vistula. Remember, they asked the Austro-Hungarians, uh, by the way, can you help us out over here? We can see the Russians in retreat and we can really nick them. Uh, and the uh, Brevich and the Austro-Hungarians said, no, if, you know, according to the Katowice Conference Agreement, we don't have to do anything. And so they didn't. And, and part of the Con uh, Katowice, Katowice Conference Agreement was to stick to the Brevich uh, dictum. And part of the Brevich dictum is to, you, st you don't do this. You, you stick to the, it's a defensive posture, basically. You do not, um, geez, it's been so long, I don't even know if I can remember saying it, for goodness sakes. Um, well, part of it is uh, you have to reclaim territory that you've lost as quickly as possible before the enemy has taken hold. Well, that hasn't happened. Oh my God, I have to check on my battery. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to tell you where we're going to nail you. And I'm going to tell you yet again, I'm going to try to explain to you, I'm trying to go quickly here. So... These guys, I'm going to move some troops over. So the first army is going to move over to here. Uh, first army, uh, uh, sorry, first corps is going to move over to here. Some of the troops from first corps. Uh, the second corps is going to take up that position there. They're just going to shift over. The Russians are nowhere there. Then we're going to attack with the infantry here, and then I'm going to supply the uh, supply these four uh, strength points with um, these guys who are going to be reassigned to the 8th Corps because it's under 4th Army. It's okay. We're, I'm not doing any, anything crazy. But the way I'm doing it, narratively speaking, is I'm saying that these guys are using their um, ammunition, their shells, to provide the... Um, they're going to shell the Levin Dickens out of these guys for these guys to go across and uh, actually do the, uh, the infantry attack. Um, so, because any casualties are gonna be taken from the first army, that's the way I'm gonna do it so I can get it. Uh, if I do force a retreat, I doubt it. I don't even know what the heck is under uh, BG-8. I can go take a look, but I'm not going to, not yet. Um, I'll leave that for part two. I can, I can do that quickly. But like I said, this is a guarantee. I will at least do one hit. There's no way... Um, okay, I'm going to show you here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's 6 uh, unsupplied. Huh? 7, 8, 9, 10 supplied. 1 point. Boink. And he's a core. He's not doing much anyways. One, two, three, four. I'm okay to still supply him that way for uh, train bits. We're good. We're good. And like I said, well, here, I'm going to show you. And then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll kill, the, uh, kill the camera thing in the jig. So here we go. A 10. Hopefully you can see this. A 10. You see what I'm saying? At minus... Look, even at minus, so let's say I rolled a 1 at minus 2, which is woods. I'll show you. Woods. Minus 2 die roll. Trust me, this is a meandering mic um, uh, thing that he taught me uh, when he was doing the um, Dravel Krieg introductory module to Annenberg thing. He was like, 10, man. Magic number is 10 for a guaranteed one hit. On lots of, uh, int well, at least for that game, because I don't think he has a deal with mountains and all that other stuff, like minus uh, three to your die roll and all that stuff. All right, that's it. Like I said, we're going to do, I'll uh, find out what number eight is. Let's find out who they are. Um, ooh, am I being a sneaky devil? Probably. They are the, oh, it's going to be a lot of points, are they? Well, I'm not going to hit them. I'm not, they're not going away on one hit because the Russians have been doing the smart thing, like I've said before, time and time again. 
So it's the 5th Army, the 46th Infantry Division with three strength points, and the 1st Brigade of the 17th Infantry Division. I don't know if you can see that. Those little buckers. I'm not stupid. I know what it... You gotta make sure, man. It, it's gonna take more than one hit to force a retreat. But, that one hit, gone. Next turn. Yeah, the war of attrition, man. Alright, see you later. Hope you're having a good one.